It's not in the cards for you. I'm pretty good at insults. And I got the internet and a lot of free time. <laughs> hey, are you going to pick me up or what? So I've been waiting almost three days now. I'm, I'm getting T bone steak. Please pick me up. I'm getting sick of this shit here. Eleven dollars. Please. Six ninety nine a pound, and it was eleven dollars. Like a pound and a half. I can't get out the garbage. Anyway, this is more than a pound. This is more than sixteen ounce steak. I usually get sixteen ounce prime ribs when I get prime ribs. These are really good cooks. Yeah, it's like a pound and a half. Seven dollars a pound, and this was eleven dollars. So, maybe a 21 ounce? That's a big ass stick. Blake, you know Joe? Joe? You know Joe? Yeah. Oh well. Forty-five minutes. I mean, I'm just gonna watch it. Just relaxing with a little insanity on the Cyberpunk 277 mix that I have in. And there's a lot of them from Night Owl and other sources. But that's how the worm chills. I was allowed to patch mode today. Here comes worm. Like the ideal dad. Were you to have babies with Lady Z? I know you talk shit. But you're wrong. Predator natural cut before is right there. And that looks like it's tasty fish. But it's steak.
What is the measure of an anti-misogynist? Well, I would think it would be somebody that would be class conscious and realize that the patriarchy is rich dudes. It would be somebody that understands other forms of bigotry. When you fight them, you have more culture in your life. So if you're a white cishet male and you fight against racism, you're going to invite more black and brown people in, which will invite more culture into your life. So if you're one of these no true scotsman people where it's like, you're not a true anti bigot well, that's not the measure of anything other than capitalist dog hypocrisy. I would think that an anti-misogynist wouldn't eat up other anti-misogynists in the struggle to help women succeed. It's not about money. It's not about power. It's about equity. Um, <clears throat> okay, this motherfucker right here is like the best damn mayo I've ever had in my life. It's Thai basil. I'm not incredible. I got this other one too. The little server woman who's delightful. Um, she guessed that I would like this one, and I haven't tried it yet. This is a mushroom. Credit burger. This place is great because, like, if you want extra sides, you get two for free, but if you want extra, it's only 50 cents. And this is like the gourmet side uh, or the gourmet uh, dipping sauces. So there's other things that you can get too. But these are 50 cents a piece, but you get two for free. And McDonald's, like a, a packet of ranch, costs 80 cents. How many of these big corporations are pieces of shit? I like the little guys. I mean, there, there's, there's also local places in Spokane called The Onion. I've never eaten there. But I wanted to, but it's COVID, so they're not open. Apparently, they have like really good burgers, pizza, and macaroni. And I'm always looking for some place to eat. So as soon as that place opens, as soon as the onion opens, I'm going to eat there. I just don't know what I want to get, but I'm going to eat there. I'm usually a big fan of Red Robin, but I've been coming to the Burger for almost a year now. The first time I came to Incredible Burger was shortly before the BLM protest, where the police got fired. And uh, I met Kiki, but she has a boyfriend now. So, you know, me being the guy that I am, I can't be the same. Um, but I've been coming to Incredible Burger for about a year. And I think I like these guys better than Red Robin. Red Roman has more burgers, but the ones you get here are like different kind of animals. I know it's like a vegan's worst nightmare, but you you, you know me and like liking how to cook vegan food and bragging about that. I still like places like Incredible Burger. This is a, a peanut butter and jelly burger. Oh, I would convert to veganism if the chick made me a vegan meal and like slept with me then I would become a vegan but uh, until then I'm not Chris Chan you know I'm not gonna become a brony or something before the relationship oh whatever I think I'm gonna sit and eat this meat mouthy PB and J with whatever the hell's on it looks like it might be more of that it's not that Thai sauce but it's green No, it is. This is my favorite burger here. Peanut butter and jelly burger. If I'm not mistaken, it has jalapenos on it. Does it? 
Is that how it is? Is that pickle? No, that one's not shaped like a. That, that is definitely a beef. So it's jalapeno. I just had her throw a piece of cheese on it. I don't know what kind of cheese it is. It doesn't even come with cheese. Last time I got it, it didn't have cheese. So I got this, and it looks like probably white cheddar or pepper jack. So I'm just going to eat it. It's been probably good. That's the best burger I've ever had. That must be the best burger I've ever had. I think this might be the best burger I've ever had. It's a peanut butter and jelly burger. An incredible burger. I don't like being a corporate show or anything, but if you got an incredible burger, they're better than McDonald's. They're the little corporations, and they're, they're smaller than Red Robin. Red Robin made a billion dollars last year. I looked that up on Forbes, okay? These guys made less than a billion dollars last year, if I'm not mistaken. Incredible burger. Don't know anything about them except they're everywhere in this country. I guess they've been around for like a decade, maybe two, in some of the bigger cities. I'd have to look that up because I have no idea. But think of me as a dad. If I were a dad and I was, I could, I got a job, I could take the kids here. I can already afford this, but I'm going to school to become a biologist and earn a PhD. And it could take 15 years. I'm still trying to get the AA. I had an 80 on my last assignment, and they shut the server down. And they're supposed to have it up by 8 o'clock on Saturday. So whenever that's happened in the past with my other classes, um, like a year ago, 2019, well, I started again in 2021, so it's been a two-year break. But back when they shut the servers down in, in English and math and stuff like that, they, they, the teachers gave you more time. And I really wanted to get to my homework because I got an 80 on that last assignment. Then I had like four more assignments to do. I checked to see if none of them were labs. One of them was a five test. And then there were two more things. None of them were labs. The labs I can't do on my phone because it's hard to maneuver, but on the computer it's even a little hard. I did that at the library, but I got, it'll let you repeat the answers. So I got a hundred on that. I'm kind of picking up how the class is going. So I, I, I missed like six assignments in biology that were like 10 points a piece at the beginning and I started calculating how long oh, am I going to have to drop a class and I thought about it and then I started calculating no, if I, I strive for like 80s or 100s I'll at least get an 80 out of the class so if I get an 80 on every assignment I'll probably get an 80 out of the class because there, there's likely to be some extra credit stuff and I have an assignment in health that's not due until the 10th. So I think I might take a look at that today and maybe start on that. It's a page long double space essay on health, uh, something to do with COVID, something that'd take like an hour to maybe even a half hour. Stuff I like. Yeah. So I'm clearly trying to make money and improve my life. I'm 41 years old. I'm in college trying to become a geneticist. And that's going to take 15 years at most. I have the idea for the dissertation, like the mixed everything genetics. Or I might just do a part of that because the dissertation would take me 5 to 10 years to write with the revisions. So I'm going to do one of those versions. It's either going to be mixed everything or mixed age group. Because of the high telomerase amount. In 18 to 24 year old women and 35 to 55 year old men in the reproductive system. And my theory that I want to write has to do with combining those two things and running the experiments in the lab and, and like in real life to try to see if that is good fodder for making healthy babies and I get along with it. They keep serving me these peanut butter and jelly burgers and I fall in love with Lady Z. 
because this is the best burger I've ever had in my life. In my life. I have rotated this sun 41 times. And as an atheist, going to the 42 is going to be a lot of fun. So, I'm telling you that this is the best burger I've ever had in my life. And somebody that has rotated the sun 41 times and has eaten a lot of motherfucking cheeseburgers. This is the best cheeseburger I've ever had in my life. Incredible burger. The little guys. Just some free advertising at one of my favorite restaurants in Spokane. Best burger joint that I've been to so far. I haven't been in the end so this might get knocked in second place in March. You're scaring the hell out of me, man. I didn't think that I'd do good. I tried to do good.